for round one. Here we go, round one of three between Sean Sin, recently coming uh, over from Thailand to do some time at Bailey's Fitness, taking on uh, one of the favourites and fast rising stars of Riddler's Gym, Zach Ellingson. Now this tie, I know tyres have a typical, you know, thing of starting slow and uh, not using the hands too much, but Daz, is, Daz has said to me that this guy likes to go hard. Likes to bang on, use his hands. And we all know that uh, the Riddler, Darren, he doesn't mind giving the hard matchups yeah. even for his own guys. Keeping very stable uh, so far as his cagey tie. He looks like another one of those cagey ties, doesn't he? It looks like he's going to have a really strong centre of gravity. Like when you get into that clinch, it's really hard and difficult to, to try and turn them and shift them out of the way. He's starting to pick up the aggressor meter and uh, look, it's to me already, he's actually reading Zach quite well. I suppose after 167 yeah. rides, you probably want to have some form of You want to have that party game down. <laughs> nice double jab there from uh, Zach. Once again there, timing his kids well. Nice handiwork there by the tie, following up with a double jab of his own. Looking for down to the body, trying to assert his authority, but Zach saying I'm having none of that. Really seems to be loading up on that rear right kick is uh, Sean's in. But now here we go, Zach trying to push forward and assert a bit of his own authority. Zach has got very high uh, power to his weight ratio. Like, he hits very hard, knees very hard. Um, I remember when he first came to the gym and I had to spar him, and I thought, you know, he's going to be a great sparring partner for me. He's about the same size, same weight. And when he hit me, I was like, Jesus, that is, that is not 60-something <laughs> <That's> kilos. <laughs> kilos. I, well, I, I mean, same, same as yourself, Kaylee. I mean, I've, I think I've commentated and uh, MC. Zach's last uh, three or four fights here on Epic and just, you know, he, he started as like uh, really respectful, respectfully not, not the biggest name or anything, uh, not not the guy that most people came to see, but he's done his time, kept fighting, kept fighting. Now he's on the main card, especially his last two fights here on Epic. He used really stamped his authority and said, hey, I'm flying the flag yeah. and I am taking this seriously. One of his, I, I thought it was great to see him win that uh, four-man eliminator on oh, a yeah, definitely, yeah. against him. Very staunch opponents. That really launched uh, him on the national circuit. And, uh, as we see him now taking on a very cagey and uh, very classy Thai, who's you know looks like once again not just coming here to have a bit of a holiday and to get a few private trains at a gym. He's here to fight. Ooh, who's gonna have your father in that one? Oh, round two. Round two of action. Zach Ironson and Sean Sin. Nice slapping lead hook there by Zach, but return fire from Sean Sin. Sean Sin saying, I'm not going to have none of that. Sean Sin looking like he's firing up, but here comes Zach. Oh, oh yes. The headache maker and the tie protesting. Son, you were wobbled. Let's see if Zach comes in now and tries to, to finish the fight or whether he actually... Is Sean Sin yeah, rattled or rattled. is he trying to keep safe face? Oh, nice slipping in the uppercut in there. Looking for the uh, rear elbow. This has got a bit of how's your father in it now. This <laughs> fight has just gone up a notch. Sean Sin and Zach tying up right in front of our commentary position. Has he, one thing I, I ask, even though now Zach is ahead, has he poked the bear? Has he anchored the bear? Because <laughs> he's uh, tired. He, he doesn't look too happy about that. No, he's not happy. And Daz did say to me, he, he comes to fight this time. Yeah, he certainly does. Just got caught. Stepping through with the lead elbow, Zach Ironson. Ty continues to push forward. Sword Sin looking for the body lock grab of fire. We've seen a bit of a body lock tonight. He's going to be looking to finish the fight now, Sword Sin, that's for sure. He knows he's going to be behind at points. And um, yeah, he's, he's not going to be taking a backward step. You know, Sean Sin, you know, uh, he's really going to be wanting to make a name as an established tie here 
in Australia for his time here. There's a good opportunity to earn big fights, big money, potentially fight against other Australian-based ties to make some cracking fights. Also, a lot of Aussies that uh, in this, you know, that's 62 to 66, 16 kilo weight. A lot of exciting so fighters, active. yeah. It's so full of fights and active. And he is an exciting tie. He comes to fight. He doesn't sort of stand there and, you know, with that tie style and, and sort of pick his shots too much. He's, he's coming forward with his hands, which you don't see a lot of in ties as well. He's coming forward not only with his hands, he's coming forward <laughs> aggressively too. Oh, nice with lead overhand. Oh, sorry, uh, overhand there by uh, Son Sin. Return fire from Zach with the elbow not getting through. It's just who's got, who's got the more... Oh, chopping knee! Love it. <laughs> you know, and what a shot in the arm this would be for Zach. See, if he could get a victory tonight. No record, 16 oh. wins. Oh, he's got him again, has he? You know, for Zach, with a record of uh, 16 wins, 10 losses, not the greatest record out there, but the quality of what he's fighting and what he's defeating is, yeah, exactly. is up there. And if he was to defeat this tie tonight, what an absolute shot in the arm that would be for him. I mean, he just came, came off his fight in Yakao. I think he fought Superbank, and, you know, he, he, he may have lost the fight, but he would have gained so much experience from oh, fighting somebody 100%. like that. Just to even be at the level where you can get on the Yakao show says something in itself. Zach's oh, lost his corner. Yeah. This is only heating up, folks. One more round to go. I think they're both going to be looking for the knockout. <laughs> I'm just looking at uh, looking at down in the corner. Looks to be calling for more. When you're in close, box, box, box. Jab, cross, up, hook. You know, slip those punches through. Soften him up with the punches, then go for your hard shots because you've beat him in the box of the apartment. Fighters, touch gloves. Listen. Fighters, touch gloves. Listen. And final round. Third and final round of what has been a... Bit of an emotional fight here. Both boys are uh, showing a little bit more than uh, just wanting to win for their gyms. <laughs> I think after round one, uh, this just went to another level. In the words of Ron Burgundy, oh, that escalated quickly. <laughs> and both boys are taking some heavy shots too. They are taking some heavy shots. And now the uh, the tie sword scene is getting very uh, very tight on that high guard. Doesn't want to get the shin wrapped around his head again as he's backed up by Zach, but comes right back into the fray, does sword sin. Oh, nicely oh, done man. by Zach. Just showing his strength. Look at sword sin! He just wants to get back he's in into there. He's the kill, isn't he? He's not having any of that. Sean Sin chasing around the ring. Zach trying to load up. It's where, like a couple of fights before, Zach probably ahead now. Win, score your points, but score with caution. Don't do anything silly. Keep that guard tight. Because you can be, believe it, Sean Sin is having a crack. He sure is. Last night, both these fighters weighing in very close to each other. 62.5 and 62.3 apiece. So much as power being through. Into it. And as you can see from your husband, the Riddler, he called for the boxing. He was calling for the boxing at the end of that round. And Zach, his charge is starting to put together. Nice tipping body shot. The tie continues to come forward. Beautiful push kick to the face. To the face. Bit of foot and mouth disease. <laughs> Can only be about a minute remaining in this uh, third and final round. Zach's done a great job so far, but take nothing away from Sorensen. This tie has come to fight, and he, if you're going to beat him, he's going to make you earn it. Broken by our referee there. As both fights are separated. Ball back into the middle of the ring as we count down to the final stage of the third and final round. Zach doing nicely, poking with that jab, looking for a uh, clean scoring shot, just poke, 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 keeping it range. Nice, nice jab, two fire up, poked with the jab again. He's landing that jab nicely. He's got more jabs in the doctor's office than Zach Ironson. Looking for that big uppercut, missing by a country mile and a half. This Tyson Sin keeps coming to come forward. 
He's looking for something. You can tell he's looking for something big. He doesn't quite know what to do to shut, uh, shut Zach down, does he? Zach just doing a good job keeping him in range, playing the smart game. Just keep playing smart, that's it. Nicely done, son. Another terrific fight in the books. Awesome fight. Another great fight in the books. Sword Sin and Zach Pines. Another cracking fight in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Always worthy of the main card fight here at Epic. After three rounds, let's get rid of the judges' scorecard. The judges have 41.